All right, so let's talk about Matic. Uh, I've got a lot up on this chart and I'm gonna take it all off and then walk through each of these things one by one, tell you why I'm looking for a short here uh, and then you know why I'm looking to flip long if we can get through around 78 cents and hold above it. So let me take off the long short uh, margin pressure levels. We'll start with just this downtrend line, um, which is you know fairly obvious. You know, some people call it a, a meme line, but ultimately it does matter. It's a downtrend line. We break through it, that's bullish. Um, but it, until we do break through it, it's resistance. We're currently approaching it. Um, the point at which we'd mo most likely make contact, if we make contact in the next day or two, is probably around 76 to 78 cents, right? So let's get rid of that. Uh, then this, let's just zoom out on the Matic chart. Oh, we've got our easy bands here. Um, these are just simply showing if if the price action of a chart or of an asset is overbought or uh, uh, oversold or overbought versus its 21 week simple moving average. So it's that simple. Um, similar to Bollinger Bands, but these use uh, kind of a different methodology. Um, but ultimately we've got our, our, our mean here and we are in the middle of what appears to be a mean reversion, right? We became oversold uh, when we get into these extreme or these extremities uh, at any point the you start trending back towards uh, the mean, then the most likely scenario becomes a mean reversion, right? So obviously you can be in a nasty bear market and, and you know continue to run downwards, sure. But once we actually turn around and start heading upwards and, and we start recovering these bands, then the most likely scenario uh, becomes a mean reversion. So we are obviously starting to take out this band, right? We're, we're mean reverting. We're in the process of what I believe to be uh, very likely a mean reversion. Uh, we've got some resistance in the way though that we need to get through. And I think that's gonna create a really nice shorting opportunity for us. So let's throw on our short and our long margin pressure levels. We'll start with our short margin pressure levels. Uh, this is just simply showing where the shorts are incentivized to start jumping back in, right? So our most recent high, not our all-time high, but our most recent local high was a dollar and fifty-six, dollar and fifty-seven cents, one one point five six eight. This level, seventy-eight point four cents, is the level where shorts can start re-entering Matic and keep their liquidation point above this swing high, which is key resistance, right? So. Ultimately, shorts are very incentivized, right? The the risk reward, um, or not not necessarily the the risk reward. We'll get into that in just a second. But the incentive, right? I, actually, technically speaking, it's it's better risk reward, and you're more incentivized to take this short because there's less perceived risk. Because the perceived risk is that um, Matic is not going to come up and liquidate you if you keep your liquidation point up there. Right, so the incentive shifts at, at 78.4 cents for shorts to start entering the market. Well, if a bunch of shorts start re-entering the market, uh, that's gonna start pushing price downwards. Now, longs are the opposite. Off of our swing low, right, or our most recent low at around 51 cents or so. This point at 76 cents uh, is where you can no longer go um, long on Matic on 3x leverage and maintain a liquidation point below the swing low. So the incentive for longs to come in here up above 76.3 cents is diminishing. Now you could still go long on 2x leverage or you know 2.5x, but uh, you're, you're seeing a drop off in the amount of leverage that you can use to go long on Matic, right? While maintaining a liquidation point below this key level, this wick low of 51 cents. Right, and notice there's pretty decent confluence here. Now let's get rid of those and throw on our risk reward levels. So our, uh, for this, what we've done is we've isolated uh, this move, this high uh, to this low. And all we're saying is off of this move uh, in our retracement here, at any given point, your risk scenario for a long, right, is to move below this, this uh, most recent swing low. And your reward scenario for a long, right? For your reward scenario for a long, and just to kind of show you, uh, we take a long position here, so this makes a little bit more sense. Your reward scenario for a long uh, is, you know, coming back up to test this all-time high, or not all-time high, but uh, swing high, right? And this risk reward tool is going to show us it's 2.96, but essentially it's three to one, right? Because I just don't have it set up perfectly. I don't have it matched up perfectly, but uh, that's going to be the point, right? As price goes above 77 cents here. 
That's the point at which on a long position, you can no longer get three to one risk reward on this move, right? Isolating for the most recent swing high and most recent swing low, right? That's really important. Now let's remove our drawings here and throw all of this back on our long levels, our short levels, our risk reward levels. And what you're gonna see is you have what I refer to in using these indicators as triple confluence, right? You have all these incentives shifting in the market all at once at 76 to 78 cents in a tight band. So it makes sense in my opinion to short this, right? Uh, because I think it'll probably require some sort of really positive catalyst to push us through this on the first try. Now, ultimately remember, we throw on these, these bands again, I do think we're in the midst of a mean reversion. I do think this 21 week simple moving average is going to continue to come down. And I do think price will ultimately work its way back up towards this, right? But note that this is coming down. It's going to be a lot easier to mean revert uh, in the future as this starts to come down, right? And, and also note that it's unlikely that we, in my opinion, that we get through this on the first try. Now, if we do get through this on the first try, right? We get through, we hold above, then we just flip long because all of a sudden now we've entered a, a, a pretty big structural range and I'll get rid of the risk reward levels to make this a little bit clearer. But you see these, you know, the, you see all this price action here. This is, this is the structural range between 70, you call it 76 to 78 cents and a dollar and one to a dollar and four cents. That's where the majority of your support and resistance has been. And even over here, when we broke up above it, we, we had a, a, a big deviation. I forget what uh, caused that. Um, if I'm not mistaken. It was like some crazy CPI numbers or something. Um, but even over here, we saw these levels act as support uh, on you know our initial uh, entry. And, and ultimately, what I'm looking for is something really similar to what we saw over here, right? We got overextended to the top side. We did a mean reversion. Now that mean reversion nicely overlapped with this support level, right? So we came back down to our 21 week simple moving average and we found support, but off the first bounce, yeah, I got a little bit wicky here, uh, but we ultimately got a really nice, I'll call it 25% bounce, right? And I'm just looking for something very similar to happen here, where as we approach 76 to 77 cents, I think we're gonna get a pullback, right? And then maybe we try to, to mean revert over here and maybe we rotate back up to a dollar eventually. We'll see, maybe we get just straight up rejected at this downtrend level and you get bad news from Robinhood or Celsius or whoever's selling off all their, their Matic at the moment. Uh, and you know, we crash and go lower. Yes, could, could certainly happen. Um, honestly, if I take the short, that's you know the ideal outcome. Right. But uh, ultimately, all I'm saying here is that I, you know, trying to show you guys why the 76 to 78 cents is a lot of uh, heavy resistance, why I plan to take a short there and my plan um, if this ends up breaking through. We break through, that's obviously a super bullish sign. We're just going to flip long, rotate up to the 21 week simple moving average, which will be somewhere in here. We'll map out those levels in the future uh, or to the top of our range, which is around a, a dollar to a dollar and four cents. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, like and subscribe, follow on Twitter. If you want access to this indicators bundled, go check out Sistine.ai. You can also get access to it if you subscribe for the research hub. Uh, which is where we just identify asymmetric risk reward opportunities in the crypto market and present them to our clients. So we just basically send you research and opportunities to your inbox, but you also get access to these indicators when you sign up for that. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Peace.